Hi everyone. Ben again. So, I want to do another pearl kiss paw. Because the last one, a lot of my paws that I use black in have been coming out really dark. So I'm going to do one with no black in it at all. And I thought if I'm going to do a kiss paw, I might as well add a little bit of extreme sheen in a puddle and see if I get pearls. If I don't, it doesn't matter because I'm getting my pearl paw, which I was planning to do anyway. So sometimes it's just a matter of chucking something else in to see if it works. So one side of the one cup, I will end up having Eraldo de Polo Ultraviolet. My old Global Magenta. And the Araldo de Polo Lavender, which is a limited edition. So um, that's an opaque, and I think the other two are either transparent or semi-transparent. Then in the other cup, I will have, it's my old Global Warm Blue. My Araldo de Polo Cobalt Hue, which I finished. Had to scrape every last bit to get enough out. And my old global turquoise, which I'm sure this is an opaque, and those two are semi transparents So that's my six colours, and the pearl pore colour will be Extreme Sheen Sterling Silver. So, in all these colours, I did 15. Um, I can't remember if I did grams or mils, but 15 of the paints and 30 of Australian Floetrol to make 45 in every cup. And this one, the Extreme Sheen, I did 20 and 20 mils or grams of the Extreme Sheen and 20 of Floetrol. So that's an even mixture and all of those are two to one. So I can get these out of my way now. I will do my layering, I'll pause it, do my layering in my cups and then come back and do the pour. Okay, so I'm back. So I did one thing that I kind of forgot I was going to put the lighter colour at the bottom and the darker colour at the top, but I forgot and started doing it the wrong way around on the first cup, so I had to do the second cup the, the same way. So it's going to be light colour first, so the light colour will go to the edges and the darker colours will be in the middle, but it doesn't matter. It's just what I was planning, but take it as it goes. So I'm just going to give this a little stir. So I hope you get a decent amount of pearls this time. I find each time I do it, it is slightly different, but I am using different colours each time. This time I'm using Eraldo and Global Paints, when I, uh, the last ones I was using Montmart. So we will see. So I think that's the middle. Just get all of this out. Excellent. Okay, and also when I layered the cups, instead of pouring them in like from the side, I tried to layer them, layer them. So they are relatively layered. And now it's just going to be a matter of kissing them. Oh, I just lost an eyelash into my canvas. I 
I just saw an eyelash fall out and land straight into the canvas. Okay. So, here we go. And kiss and claw. Oops. Paints are feeling quite thick. I'm really not used to pouring in winter weather. So the kiss paw is a little bit harder because you end up getting, it's harder to get the last bits out of the cups. I just feel like I've still got quite a bit of paint left in my cups. But we will see. So again, a lot of turquoise. <laughs> Where's my blues? <laughs> Ah. Sometimes it's really funny how that happens. Okay, so no messing around. Okay, over, and there's something heavy in that paint over there, I can see it. Over, back, over, back. I'm going to go this way. And back, spin it round for you. Come on, stretch, stretch. It's nerve wracking part just to make sure you know you've got enough. And then I'm just gonna tilt it back. Sorry, I'll spin it back around. Alright, 
it's not moving much now, so. Is that even? Yeah, got a little bit uneven for a second. Now, corners, corner, corner, and corner. Those corners were done quite well. So I can see some pearls popping up. Not a ton. I always do use a little bit less paint than, um, not a lot less than is recommended. With the pearl colour, I think it's recommended you use like about 30, 30 grams when I only use 20. Pop any bubbles. And I do sometimes wonder whether you get more pearls in a warm environment than you do in a colder environment. So the last few nights have been really cold. Um, I often do my paintings in the evenings. So inside the house is a bit warmer but it's probably only about 5 degrees Celsius outside. Just keep warming it up. Yeah, it looks like I'm just going to get the fuel again, but that is absolutely fine. I've got a pretty nice looking um, kiss paw here. So mostly pinks down that corner, blues over here with a bit of pink running through. This end here is beautiful with the, um, sorry I'm spinning both hands, <laughs> with the tur um, turquoise running through. Yeah, it looks like heating it up is not going to give me any more. I would have loved a few more pearls, but if it doesn't want to give them to me, I'm not going to get them. So that's it for that. So with pearls, they will come up more. I have got a few on the edges. So what I will do now while I'm here is just quickly scrape so I don't lose more paint and I don't want any of those pearls I have near the edges to run off. So just do a scrape around all four sides. Check it again in five minutes time and do it again. Um, Last night's painting, uh, it kept running to the point where I was still scraping an hour later, every five minutes for about an hour, just to stop it from running off. It just wasn't behaving. But I also think that the it felt really a little bit uneven because it was running off one side only. So I'm going to pause it for five minutes and I will come back and hopefully there's more pearls.
All right, it's been five, maybe seven minutes. So I've got a few pearls coming up, but not a ton. So I am going to hope that it's cooler weather that's kind of preventing them. I didn't really have excess paint. Um, I did use a different brand and some of them were older paints, so they might have been a little bit too thick. I'm not too sure, but I still got I still got pearls. I've got a few around here or up around there, and there's a few small ones up through here. And overnight they may still decide to pop up or expand. Um, but either way, it's still a nice ring pour. So I'm gonna bring you down and have a closer look. And there we are. So it's a pretty cool ring pour. You got nice colors coming through you can see a couple of pearls in the bottom corner and it goes through onto the bluer side where you've got a lot more pearls over here and then we go up the rings look quite good i can only really see two tones of blue not so much three oh there might be a third one in the middle here a little bit uh, but similar with this one you've got a lot more of the lavender and you've got the magenta but you don't have very much of the darker purple apart from a few streaks but overall let me get closer you can see some pearls coming up so these are sterling silver so they're taking on the blue tone um, which I have noticed that happens quite a bit it takes on tones of the colors of the paints but overall focus overall i'm quite happy with it i think it's turned out quite well it's a nice ring pour and if the pearls come up even anymore they do like i said it's sometimes it's a bonus i do the pearl i do the ring pour but i just put the pearl paint there just in case so i hope you enjoyed uh subscribe if you want to see more videos click the bell and i'm happy if you share my videos share them on facebook or something um i'd like more people to have a look at them and Hopefully learn how to do um, acrylic pouring. Thanks very much, everyone. Have a good night.